Good morning, students. Today we'll discuss the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. It what it says: every composite number, composite number, you got that prime and composite. Is it prime number that number that have only two factors, one and itself? And composite number are those number which have more than two factor, one and itself, and again it is divisible by another number. This is composite number. So every composite number can be factorized or expressed as a product of the prime, and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occurs. That means composite number. I will explain. Every composite number can be factorized. Yes, suppose six is a comp composite number. Can be expressed, factorized as a product of the prime. Yes, product of the prime. Two and three, product of the prime. Or twenty. Two into two into five, product of the prime. The factorization is unique. Factorization unique means if we multiply this two and three, we'll get six. You will not get any other number. That is unique. Two and two and five, you will get twenty. Is it? That is. It would two and two and five is a factor two and two two into two into five will give twenty only twenty divo. That can be like this. So twenty factor like this one. That is unique. And then what apart from the order in which the prime factors occurs? Yes, order. Yes, if I change the order, two into three will six, three into two also six. Order is not a matter. That is. Fundamental theorem of arithmetic, which composite number can be expressed as a product of the prime. Now next is that question: Express the following as a product of its prime. These are the sums. These sums, how to do? Yes, in lower classes you divide like that or not? With the two we divide. Then I divide the three, we we'll get thirty nine. Again with three, thirteen. So two thirty four we can write as a two into three into three into thirteen. Is it easy or already you got in lower classes, and you can try these three sums, okay? 